three boxes of yarny goodness. Hi, I'm Gia and I'm Yarn Nut. <laughs> yarn hoarder, yarn squirreler, just like you. We have a massive 112 pound ice yarn unboxing today. Three big boxes. It's so exciting. Everybody's been so great ordering so much yarn and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I do. Any new yarns that you haven't seen before, I hope. And let me know what you think of them. Um, I'm having a lot of fun discovering all this yarn. All right, so here is box number one. Let's open this up. Yeah. Always be careful with scissors. All right. Woo. Let's peek inside. How fun. So, let's move this on the floor so we can get at this yarn. All right, let's see what we got. So I want to check out all of the ice yarn cotton and cotton blends eventually. That's going to take a lot, but so I'm ordering in a few at a time. So here's a couple that I wanted to try. This is Baby Cotton 100 Gram. And it looks really good. Let's see. All right. This is, this is a 100 gram skein. And let's take a look at it close up. This is a 100 gram skein and it is 100% Giza cotton. I'm not sure what Giza cotton is, but I'm going to find out and I'll put it up on the screen for you. This is nice too. This looks a lot like Summer Baby DK, but this again is 100% cotton. Very soft, very clean. Nice for garments. I need to find one like this that's a four weight for my um, reversible cotton quilt. Very nice. This is a pack of cotton bamboo in the white. Again, I want to check out all the cottons, cotton blends, bamboos. I want to have an example of all of them here so that if you all want me to compare yarns or have questions, I'll be able to answer them. Cotton bamboo to two weight. Let's see what it looks like. This is cotton bamboo, 50% cotton, 50% bamboo. It's a two weight, 50 gram skein. This is also really pretty. There's a slight sheen to it, no fuzz. Very, very soft, very soft. Show what the fiber looks like. Very pretty and clean. Love it. I'm really getting into the gold yarns this season, so I found another color that I really, really like. This is organic baby cotton. This is number 55381. It's not giving me a color on the bag, so I'll put it up on the screen for you. It's kind of an orangey gold. Super pretty. And there is a yarn in here that I bought to match these two golds, so we'll see what it looks like when I find that in the boxes. But let's take a look at this one. Okay, this is organic baby cotton. It is 100% cotton. And it is a three weight, 50 gram ball. Very pretty color. Like I said, I'm getting into these pumpkin-y, goldy colors for this season. I want to make something. I don't know what yet, but we'll see. Very clean. Again, super soft cotton. I just love it. Really nice. We can compare the organic baby cotton with the baby cotton 100 gram. Let's see how they look together. Oh, they look pretty good. Very similar. The organic seems to be a slightly bit thinner. Maybe, it could be the color too, but they look very similar. The organic looks to be a little more tightly wound. A tighter twist. That's probably why it looks thinner. Very cool. I actually got two packs of Lorena Colorful. You may have seen this one before. A customer ordered this on my last stock order and I really liked it, so I ordered some for myself. I'm digging this color. And I ordered those two golds to see if they match, so we'll check this out. This is Lorena Colorful and it's number 63411. This is the gold pink lilac color. And I really like it because it's got some oranges and golds and pink and purple in there, which I think is a really unique combination. 
Very nice. This is 55% cotton and 45% acrylic, 50 gram ball, and it's a three weight. No fuzz, very clean. I'm loving these cottons from Ice, I really do. These are great. Okay, I, I got a couple of colors of the Alera in the gold. Really, so pretty. This is 44118, dark gold. And 33059 Dark Gold. I love when I has the same name for two yarns in the same family. So confusing. So there's these two shades. Just beautiful. Okay. Here's the two Aleras. I love Alera. I have a lot of colors in Alera. Really pretty. These are two shades of dark gold in Alera. And Alera is a three weight, 50% cotton, 50% acrylic. And these are 50 gram balls. I really like working with the Alera. It's super nice. I wish they made something like this in a four, which the Lorena is close, I guess. But the Lorena just doesn't seem as soft to me. But this is very soft, very clean. No fuzz. And it's great to work with. No splitting. It is really tightly wound. I wouldn't say it's chain spun, but it's really tightly wound where it doesn't split at all. Hopefully you can see that. I wanted also to show you the all the yarns that I got to go with the Lorena Colorful in the orangey gold. I thought I bought a purple, but I can't find it. I'll have to check my order and make sure. Maybe I decided against it. Although I think I have an Alara purple. It's kind of a dusty purple, muted. And actually, you know what? Let me go get that. I had some already. You look at this, I'll put it close up. I'm not sure which purple goes better. We'll have to look at it close up and see. So I got the Lorena Colorful. I really, really think the organic cotton color goes really well. And then there's a gold. Then there's a darker gold, brown, and another gold. So I'll have to look and see close up what I think, what goes. And then we have, <laughs> there. Then we have the two purples on this side. So these are going to make an interesting project. I don't know what to make yet. Hmm. I'm thinking poncho with pockets. So let's look what the what these colors look like close up. I don't know. That's more of a blue, I guess. The one is more of a bluey purple. It's kind of blue. I think it's too blue. Let's see. Well, no, it's actually in this light, it looks purple. So this actually matches. And then I, oh, this one's a little bit, I don't know. Which one do you think? They both look good, I think. I think I might go with the brighter purple just because it, brings out the colors a little bit better I think and I definitely want this one look at that isn't that cool it looks so fun and this one nah. this one mm, better and then we have this one. Oh, this is a tough choice hmm what do you think Five too much? <laughs> I'm thinking I really like these together. So I'm thinking these. What do you think? Yeah. I think the other ones are just a little bit off, although also very pretty. But I think these two on this side, on my, this side, are just a little bit off, even though they probably would go. But I might use that darker one. I might use this darker gold just because it, grounds it. How fun. So this is a brand new yarn called Wayu, I believe, W-A-Y-U-U. -U. And I haven't seen it before. It's 100% premium acrylic. This is the Ecru color. I'm doing a new all seasons reversible cotton quilt crochet along and I still need a border and joining yarn. So I bought this in the Ecru to see if it would work. This is number 67197. And as I said, it's a 100% premium acrylic. This is the new Wayu, W-A-Y-U-U, -U, 
Yarn by Ice Yarns. This is a two weight, 100% premium acrylic, so no, I can't use it for my blanket. I need a four. But this is really interesting texture. It's kind of twisty. It's very soft though. No fuzz. Very nice. I think this would make a gorgeous baby item. Really, this would make a gorgeous baby item. It's really super pretty. Very nice. We had a customer purchase the Paris yarn in a bunch of different colors, and it is a really pretty yarn. We've had the purple shades color in stock on the website for a while, but these are brand new colors that I haven't seen before. So let's check them out. This is 65879 Paris Blue Shade Silver. Look at that. Oh, boy. that is really pretty. I'm going to take these all, I'll show you these and then I'll show them all together. 65537 Khaki Shades in Paris. This one, ooh. 65826 Green Shades Purple. Looks a lot like the Morella, actually. Interesting. Mm -hmm. We have 65538 Brown Shades Paris. So pretty. And this one is Green Shades Green Shades. And this one is 65933 Green Shades Fuchsia. Pretty. Let's open them up and see what they look like. This yarn looks a lot like the Morella, but the metallic thread is silver in all the colors, where the Morella has different color metallic threads for each color. This is really pretty yarn. Let's see. Purple, sh purple turquoise. Look at that. Really soft. Wow. This is nice. It looks like a summer night with stars in the sky, doesn't it? It's so cool. And then this is the blue shades. Really pretty. Look at that. And then it's rainbow color. Wow, this is gorgeous. Brown shades. Oh, these are so fun. And khaki shades. Let me show you one of the threads. This is 30% wool, 40% acrylic, 30% metallic lurex. It's a four weight and 50 gram ball. This is pretty. There's a little bit of fuzz. As I said, silver going through it. Quite a bit of silver. It's very shiny. Look at that. It shines really nicely. It shines really nicely in the light. That would make a pretty fancy little scarf, wouldn't it? I also got another cotton. It's called Pure Cotton in white. I'm trying to get whites across the board so I can compare nicely. Ooh. <gasps> you know what? Oh, I think I just found the yarn. Oh, but they might not have Acru. I bet they don't. This yarn would be perfect for my blanket. It's a four weight. It's cotton. It's soft. It's beautiful. But I bet they don't have Acru. That's one of the other problems I'm running into. Pure cotton. This is great. This is a four weight. And here's what it looks like. Very smooth. Tiny, tiny, tiny bit of a sheen, but it just looks very nice and clean and it's super, super soft. Oh yeah. This is really soft. Oh, I love this yarn. I love cotton yarn. One of my, actually, what am I saying? I love it all. <laughs> Cotton, wool, fuzzy, not fuzzy. I do. I love it all. This is really nice yarn. This is a new yarn. It's called Natural Cotton Chunky. And I thought it was really pretty color blue. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's number 67528. Ooh, interesting. Very pretty. Look at the close-up. Natural Cotton Chunky. It is a 
five bulky, 100% cotton, 200 gram ball, light blue. This is nice. Looks like it might be a little splitty. I don't know. Maybe when you're using it, it won't matter. Let's pull this out. Oh, look at that. I'm trying to pull the end out and look what everything comes out. I guess that's not going to happen. All right, we'll just stick that back in there. <laughs> Where's an, I need an end. Where's an end? I found the outside end so I could show you what this looks like. This, hmm, super soft. I think it would make a really nice garment. No fuzz. Yeah, it looks like it might be a little bit splitty. You probably have to be careful. But I think it would be worth it because it's really cool yarn. It feels neat. It's really love this color. This color is nice. We got two colors in the boucle. Well, bulky. Haha, <laughs> I said it. We had some oranges and some greens. Check these out. This is 65225 and it is green, purple, orange fuchsia. And the green is 65223, green shades. Very gorgeous. Super soft wool. Doesn't feel like wool at all, I have to tell you. I'm usually sensitive and it doesn't make me itch at all. It is 35% wool, 55% acrylic, 10% polyamide, and it's a five weight bulky 50 gram ball. Very pretty. Colors are nice. Yeah. How fun, really soft. Very nice. We got the Rosetto yarn in a couple of colors. This is really pretty too. I'm getting exposed to all these yarns. I'm just gorgeous, look at that. This one is 64219 and it is navy. This one is 64221, brown green. Look at that. Those are gorgeous. The Rosetto is a three weight, 30% wool, 70% acrylic, and these are 50 gram balls. Really hope you can see the colors on this one. It's just beautiful. Turquoises, blues, and purples. Really nice. This one has greens and browns and reds, a little blue. This one's gorgeous too. Slight little bit of fuzz. Very soft, not itchy at all. Just gorgeous. Now it's time to dive into the second box. Ooh, these boxes are heavy. Give you a little peek into this box. <laughs> One of the newer yarns that I did a review on a couple of videos ago is taking off and we have a whole bunch of new colors in mass called fireworks. So let's look at these gorgeous things. We got in five new colors of fireworks. Well, actually four new ones and one we already had. This one is 55527 green, orange, yellow, light blue. That's really pretty. And then this one is 55521 gray shades camel. More of a boy thing for people who don't like bright colors. This one is 55525 olive green khaki pink. Ooh, this is nice yarn. And then this one is very bright 55530 purple lilac fuchsia orange. Ooh, fun. And then this one that's selling the most is 55537 fuchsia orange turquoise yellow. All right, here's all five colors together. Let me show you close up what they look like. These color combinations are great. This is the fireworks. Very pretty. There's almost no fuzz on this yarn and it's really pretty. These colors just pop, just like fireworks. 
Then you have the more tame colors in the khaki. And middle of the road, orange and gold and gray. Love that yarn. Super great for apparel. Really soft. Looks to be chain spun. How fun is that? We got a couple of packs of Prima Donna. This looks a lot like Lion Brand Landscapes, but it looks to be a little thinner. It's 55462 Maroon Turquoise Green Yellow. This one's 55563 Burgundy Blue Yellow Neon Green. These two colors are very similar. One just seems to have more reds in it, and the other one has more purples in it. But this Prima Donna is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, 100 gram balls, and it's a 285. Yeah, looks a lot like Lion Brand Landscapes. A little bit of fuzz. Slight sheen to it. Very super, super soft. Just gorgeous. And we have a pack of Ambient in the Camel Purple. It is 65181. The Ambient again also looks like Lion Brand Landscapes. The Ambient is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, 100 gram balls. And this one's a five weight, five bulky. But it looks just like the Prima Donna, but thicker. A little bit of fuzz. Looks like Landscapes. But I don't think Landscapes has wool in it. If you look at the Prima Donna, which is the darker one next to the Ambience, which is a lighter gray, you can see they look exactly the same, it's just the, amb the Ambience a little thicker. Trying to collect Christmas color yarn for projects that may come out of my head in the future, I found that Camille Cotton had the three really nice Christmas colors, red, green. It's really hard to find a nice Christmas green. And then it seems like if they have a nice Christmas green, they don't have a nice red. So I did get all three of these colors just to see what they were like. 53788, Camilla Cotton Green. 53798, Camilla Cotton Red. And 67120, Camilla Cotton White. As you can see, these look very nice together for Christmas. Here's the three Camilla Cottons in the Christmas colors, red, green, and white. The Camilla Cotton is 100% mercerized cotton, 50 gram ball. It's a two weight fine. Very pretty. A little bit of a sheen to it. Super soft. Take a look at that fiber. There's no fuzz on it. It's very clean, very well twisted great projects for Christmas. There we go. Very nice clean cotton yarn. We had a couple colors of rockabilly. Orange and yellow. 66213. Actually it says red but I don't think this is red. This is orange, so in case the label's wrong, I will put the correct information up on the screen for you. This is yellow, which is almost a chartreuse yellow. They're calling it olive green, but it's greeny yellow. I don't, I wouldn't call this green <laughs> either. You've seen the Rockabilly before. We put that up on the site quite a while ago. We have many colors in stock. It's 67% tensile and 33% polyamide. So for people who can't use wool, this is a great alternative. It has a little bit of fuzz, so it kind of looks wooly, but it's not wool, and it's a four weight. It's kind of a flat, flat style yarn. A little tiny bit of fuzz. The colors are great, and we do have a lot of colors in stock for immediate shipping on yarn nuts. This is shades of orange and yellow. This yellow, though, to me, doesn't really go with that, but I'm a super color matchy freak, so other people might think it looks just fine. <laughs> This is kind of a yellowy olive green. Really pretty. 
Very nice. This is a really nice color in the wool worsted. This is 65655 green shades. I like this color green. It's really pretty. Super soft. A little bit of fuzz. Very nice. Yarns are great. Look at that. Wool color worsted. 50% wool, 50% acrylic, 50 gram ball, and it's a four weight. That's nice. Got a little fuzz to it. It looks so nice and casual, cozy, really pretty. Not too fuzzy, just a little bit. Really pretty. Two colors in the wool worsted, 65654. Turquoise green, I think I showed these, but I'm not sure. And then 65657. Fuchsia light blue. Really pretty. This is wool worsted color and it is 50% wool, 50% acrylic, and it's a four weight. These are great colors. Turquoise yellow purple and then orange purple lime green and fuchsia. Very pretty. It's very soft. I do feel a little bit of the wool in it, but it's not uncomfortable. Very pretty. I haven't seen this one before. This is Rock and Roll 65847. And it's green shades white, but honestly to me, it looks gray. I don't see any green in it. We'll see when we get it under the light, but it doesn't look green to me. Rock and Roll again, it's super nice and soft. I don't see a lot of green. It might be a slight greeny gray, but it really looks gray to me. Rock and roll, 15% wool, 35% acrylic, 50% modal, and it's a four weight, 50 gram ball. Really pretty, soft and cozy. Maybe a slight, slight green gray. Very nice. Here's some rock and roll in a lilac burgundy shade, and that is 65852. I don't think I've seen this one before. This one's really pretty too. Lilac and red, I normally don't think about, but with this brick red burgundy color, this actually looks really cool. Look at that. That's a nice color combination. Not something I would normally go for, but I think it's very pretty. Got a few more colors in a rock star for Christmas projects. I'm going to be doing Christmas ornaments. Emerald green, red black, light camel, which is a light gold, and the red cut, and the green black. So these are all great colors for Christmas, and I still have the silver gray in stock. If you're needing that, you can get that at Yarn Nuts and have some Christmas fun. We also got a new color in a Brock Star. It's light pink. I wanted to see what this one looked like. It's so pretty. It is number 64462. Eventually, I'll have all the colors. Very pretty. Woo. This light pink is really pretty. It's super shiny. And the rock star is 19% merino wool, 70% polyamide, 11% acrylic, and it's a four weight, 50 gram ball. Super color. I love this. And we got some rock star in the turquoise black, which is really pretty. I have not seen this color before. It's 51556. We'll take a look at this one. This color is really gorgeous. Look at that. Oh, you know what? It's looking bluer in this light than it actually is. Rock Star is 19% merino wool, 70% polyamide, 11% acrylic, and it is a four weight. This is the turquoise black. I hope it's looking turquoise because it is turquoise. It's a deep, 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 rich, royal turquoise. Just beautiful. 
on a little bit on the blue side, but it's definitely turquoisey. So hopefully this light is doing it right. There we go. Yep, there you go. See that? Really pretty. And then I was really excited to find a Rockstar Fine, which I didn't even know existed. They had these gorgeous colors, the red, black, and the green, black, in the Rockstar Fine, which is a little bit thinner than Rockstar. I wanted to see if it looked the same, and I thought it might be better for some of those more delicate Christmas projects. Okay, this is a 285 Rockstar, and the red is 65832, and the green is 65831. Emerald. It's emerald and red. They look more like the blacks, you know, the red, black, and the green blacks in um, the regular Rockstar. Look at that. That's gorgeous. I think... I think this might look better on the Christmas ornaments than the fat stuff, maybe. Looks to be the same as Rockstar, but thinner. Really pretty. Super soft. Color is gorgeous. Let's see if we can get one of these. Here's what the fiber looks like. Really nice, shiny. This has black fuzz. Really pretty. I have never heard of Brackstar Vine. Didn't wasn't in the new section though, so I must have always been there. There you go. Oh, super pretty. Very shiny. Okay, all right, now we have box number three. Let's see what's in here. This is a when it's over, so fun. All right, let's give you a little peek in here. <laughs> Ooh, all the pretties. All right, let's see what's in the third box. Oh. Ooh, I don't think we've seen this. I don't think we've seen this one. Rosetta Worcester Brown, Green, Gold, Yellow. Ooh, that is fabulous. That, wow. These colors are amazing. Look at that. Ooh, I like this one a lot. Wow, look at these colors. That turquoise in there with that gold. Woo, popping, brown, beautiful. This is gorgeous. So soft. This is Rosetta Worsted, which is a little bit thicker than the Rosetto. Oh, wow. I love this one. So much yarn, so little time. I couldn't possibly make all the things I want to make. Look at that. That is beautiful. Rosetta Worsted is 30% wool, 70% acrylic, 100 gram balls, and it's a four weight. And here is your fiber. little fuzzy super soft it doesn't feel itchy at all though not at all that is just gorgeous here's some more rosetta worsted six three four five two blue shade really pretty i am really loving these color combinations in the rosetta worsted which i think is the same as the rosetta but rosetta is thinner really pretty pretty stuff We have a couple new shades in the paintball. This one is 54387 Maroon Turquoise Yellow. And this one is 54382 Brown Shade Fuchsia. This is pretty. These colors are really super nice. This paintball yarn is 50% wool and 50% acrylic. 100 gram ball and it's a six bulky. Really nice. It's soft, but I don't feel itchy. And it's kind of a flat, flat fibers. A little bit of fuzz. Very pretty. These colors are gorgeous. The turquoise and the gold and brown, again, look really well together. Then this is the browns and 
fuchsia hot pinks. Very pretty. Oh, it's so soft. This would make some fun things for kids. Really pretty. Cakes Air Blue White 59355. This looks like a blues and corals and whites. Really pretty. The cake's air is 50% acrylic, 50% polyamide, 150 gram ball, and it's a five bulky. Definitely chain spun. These colors of the coral and blue go together really well. Minimal amount of fuzz. Just gorgeous. All right, we have three colors in Cakes Blues. These cakes are really fun. A little smaller than I would like, but what are we gonna do? This one, 58026, and they don't have the colors on the label, so I will put them up on the screen. I believe this one's brown shades. Yeah, it's 58135, brown shades. And, Five eight four five eight blue green. These are cute. Here's the three colors of the cakes blues. And let's see what they look like close up. Here you go, cakes blues. Cakes blues is 100% acrylic, 100 gram balls, four weight yarn. It's very pretty. This is nice. This is very little fuzz, very nicely spun, kind of looks a little bit like the Alera, really nice, and these colors are great. Very nice, and these colors are super pretty, very nice. Very nice. Let's try the rest of this box. Cakes Erin. I have not seen this one before either. This is 56551. Green shades, turquoise teal. This is pretty. Ooh, that is super soft. That is super soft. Wow. This is amazingly soft, like, wow. Huh. Very pretty. This is Wool Melange. Melange, however you say that, 57650. This is pretty, it's a cream with a multicolor in it. Very soft. Could be a little bit wooly. But not uncomfortably. The wool melange in cream is a four weight. It's 100 gram ball, 30% wool, 70% acrylic. It's very soft. You feel a little bit of the wool in there, but it doesn't scratch or anything. Love the colors. It looks like a cream base with pinks and blues and purples, little greens, a little tiny bit of yellowy. Very pretty. Not too fuzzy. It's not too fuzzy. It's a little bit. Colors are kind of splattered on. It's not really, uh, you know, lines of color. It's more like a splatter. Really unique. Very cute. So I wanted to show you the project that I got this next year for. Well, I haven't started it yet, so a mess. Ice has changed the quality of their bags that they keep the yarn in. They just fall apart now. A while ago, I bought these three colors of Natural Baby, which is a cotton blend with bamboo, and it's mainly acrylic. And I really loved these three colors, but I kind of wanted to do something more with it. So I got in the Natural Baby in cream and in navy blue, because I thought that would go dark and light both ways to set off those colors. 
so let's see what they look like together. So this is my vision. I don't know, what do you think? The dark blue might be a little bit too dark, but sometimes I like a grounding dark color, so we'll have to see. This yarn is super soft, really nice. I like it. They have a lot of really good colors on these. So the natural baby is 10% bamboo, 14% cotton, 76% acrylic. Super soft. I love the white flex. It's kind of like flecky. It's not a, a uniform line. It's like little flecks of color in there. Super soft. I really like it. I was hoping the cream would have white flecks in it like the others, but it doesn't. But I think it'll be all right anyway. Super soft, really pretty. Very nice. All right. So I have a challenge for anyone out there who knits socks. So the first person to email me saying they would like to make a pair of socks with this smart sock yarn and let me know how many yards you would need for one pair of socks. I will be happy to send them the yarn if they will share pictures of their finished objects with me. That'd be great. That's the deal. Thank you, and just send an email to yarn at yarnnut.com. I don't have the nerve to try to knit socks right now. No, I can't do it. But it looked really pretty, and I'll put a picture up here showing you what their picture looks like. I thought that you know, people that make socks, I thought you would really, really love this. I think the colors are great. This is number 67149, and it's cream blue really pretty. There's lime greens and fuchsias and blue jean blue and cream in here. This smart sock yarn is 75% superwash wool and 25% polyamide. It's a one fine weight and it's a 100 gram ball. I love these colors in here. Look at this. This it's, It forms some kind of a pattern when you make socks. I don't even begin to understand how that works. But those of you that do knit socks, you probably know. So, I thought this was really pretty. And here's a string. This is a new yarn I haven't seen before. This is called Cotton Spray. And it looks like it's kind of irregularly colored, meaning not uniform. Kind of spattery. Hmm. Let's open it up and find out. This one is 58415 turquoise cream brown. And this one is 58690 salmon shades. This is really pretty. Wow. Really soft too. The cotton spray yarn is 50% cotton, 50% premium acrylic. It's a two weight fine and a 100 gram ball. Very clean, very soft yarn. Oh, this is really pretty. Lots of different colors in here. Coral, denim blue, gold, green, cream. Very pretty, I like it. And just gorgeous. Fibers, not a lot of fuzz, very clean. Like I said, the color looks like it's painted on, hence the name Cotton Spray. It's not a uniform line of color. That's why it's irregular. You're going to see more splotches in other places and less in others. Really pretty. And here's the other color. Super soft. You know, we should really come up with words for levels of softness, I think. That would be nice to have a uniform code so we could tell how soft things were. Got a new color of gumball. This is 60879, orange, gold, white, yellow. Halloweeny colors. Very pretty. This yarn is supposed to color pull. I've never tried it yet. We do have a couple other colors in stock at Yarn Up, but I haven't tried it yet. I don't have any patience right now for color pulling. Ay, ay, ay. No, I don't. The last time I did it, I frogged it like 52 times. Still didn't come out perfect, but it was all right. 
Very nice. Gumball is super soft. And the gumball is 100% premium acrylic. It's a three weight and it's, this is a 100 gram ball. These are Halloween colors. Already starting to run out of the Halloween colors and fall colors and a lot of the yarn. So I wanted to grab this in case anybody wanted to give it a try. Very nice. Very little bit of fuzz. Nicely twisted. Very nice basic yarn. The colors are pretty. Here's another yarn I haven't tried yet. It's called Baby Cotton Print. This looks a lot like the other yarn. It looks like it's hand painted. There's more splashes of color. You'll have more color in one spot, less in another. It's really pretty. This one is 52919 blue yellow. And this one is 52918 cream taffy. These are pretty. Here's the two colors of the Baby Cotton Print. Very pretty. It's blues and greens and yellows, and then turquoises and grays and olive greeny taupey. Very pretty. The baby cotton print is 50% cotton and 50% acrylic. It's a two weight fine, and this is a 100 gram ball. Super pretty. So back on the Christmas theme, I ordered a bunch of the wool bulky glitz in red. Because as I said, there's not too, too many of the Christmas colors left in any of the yarns. So I thought this would be a fun yarn to use for a Christmas project. It's a little bit bulkier. It's 58207 wool bulky glitz red. Wool bulky glitz. This is a five weight bulky, 25% wool, 72% premium acrylic, and 3% metallic lorex. The metallic thread in this yarn is red, so it makes it just red on red shine. It's really pretty. Let's see if we can get that in there. Red on red shine. Very pretty. There we go. See? Just a little tiny bit of sparkle. Pretty. That would make a really pretty tree skirt. I wanted to show you the Ice Yarn Summer Yarn that I showed you one of the colors back when I first started in June, but I wanted to get some more colors so I can... Um, start working on a project eventually but I've got four colors of the Ice Yarn Summer which is a 2 weight fine and it's it's just beautiful. I also ordered the pink from Hobium. Um, it's kind of a dusty pink. Hobium has the same exact yarn. Well I'm pretty sure it's exactly the same. We'll find out when I get the shipment. So I'll have a pink to go in here as well. So I got the multicolor which is called gold white. So it's got mint green, orangey gold, pink and the white and so I got the gold oh it's got some lilac too so I got the gold the lilac and the white and I ordered the pink from Hobium so I like to have a multicolor and then I like to make a pattern with all the solids that match and it comes in a zipper tote that you can reuse for little teeny tiny projects or maybe to store small things and this is the summer yarn I just love the colors The summer yarn is 70% mercerized cotton, 30% viscose, 100 gram ball, and this is a 2 weight fine. It's so beautiful. It has a shiny thread running through it. It has a shiny thread running through it, and it's really clean and crisp and super, super soft. I want to make something really good with this. I don't know if I want to make a baby blanket or a baby dress or sweater. I don't know. It's super fancy yarn though. I guess it's not great for a blanket, but I think it'd be beautiful. Maybe like a dress blanket for the crib, like, um, you know, just a decora decoration blanket. Not a play blanket on the floor, but this is so pretty. Look at that. Shiny, shiny. And then the white, really shiny as well. Just looks great. And then the multicolor. Such subtle colors, but just really pretty when they're all together. Super nice. Super nice. Love it. We had several shades in the Harmony today. Um, I know the most popular colors have been out of stock for a while, but we do have some of the other colors in stock, which are just as pretty. We have 61109 Purple Red. This is a purple, red, and gray. We have 61102 khaki brown, which is more of a 
It's got lime green in it, olive greens, khakis, a little bit of gray. Very nice. 61110, turquoise white. This is turquoises, purples, grays. Really pretty. 61106, green shades. This is a green shades as well. 61107, another green shades. This one is more turquoise and burgundy. Whereas this one is more browns and greens. So here are the five colors in Harmony that we got in stock. Very pretty. I would love to see what this yarn looks like worked up. I think the pattern of the marls and the different colors. If anybody has used this, let me know. I'd really like to see what it looks like. If you have a picture of your finished object, I would love to see it. Very little fuzz. Very super soft yarn. This is really pretty. I don't know how it compares to puzzle or anything like that. This is 100% 100 premium acrylic and it's a four weight. And this is a 100 gram ball. It's got some bright yellowy chartreuse greens in there. Then some grays, greens. Really, really pretty yarn. Just love it. I would really like to see what this looks like worked out. Well, whew, I'm tired. I don't know about you, but I really hope you enjoyed that huge unboxing. <laughs> and let me know if you'd rather have it broken up into shorter videos. Um, I wasn't really sure which way to go. Like I said, the last one I did, I did in two parts, but a lot of people didn't see the second part. So I just decided to do this one as a whole big video and see who liked it and who didn't. So let me know if you'd rather have them broken up into smaller videos or if you like a big massive yarn haul. I really like the big ones every once in a while. I like to sit down with a snack and just watch it all. It's so fun. <laughs> so thanks everyone for watching. Have a really great day or evening wherever you are and I hope you don't have too much frogging to do this week. Bye! All right, I went to my yarn tower and I found my Alara Purples cut. <laughs> this is a new yarn. It is called Natural Cotton Chunky. This is cut. A while ago, I bought these three colors of Natural Baby because I have a baby blanket in mind for spring. <laughs> and cut. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting fuzz in my throat from all this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like yarn fuzz. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? <laughs> All right. Whew. This marathon, I'm tired already. 